four, three, two, one. Yeah, 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 we're good, we're good, we're good. Eric Zilli here with yet another Kaiju Customs video. Now, this one's going to be a bit of a different kind of Kaiju Customs because um, we're not going to be repainting or sculpting for this custom, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to be making this standard Bandai Armored Darkness into an articulated figure. Now, for those who are unaware, this is uh, one of the different um body molds i used for like articulated figures this is a um this was a despair a marvel legends uh despair figure and uh you know this figure is really really good believe it or not it's really really great for um body um for body proportions in this night now you may be wondering what's all what's all this uh well um uh, basically this uh particular uh, figure was I was trying to customize this into something else, but it didn't really go too well So I decided you know what? Um, we'll just uh, use this for this here. So, you know, we got the body and everything else like that We got some extra hands here and uh, We got the uh, head that I Sculpted with clay here so as you can see. So yeah, we're gonna basically chop this figure up and put it into the body mold of this thing so uh yeah let's uh let's just see how that goes all right so step one of this custom is obviously we're gonna have to dismember the vinyl figure and pretty much cut it up to kingdom come so yeah that whole process believe it or not was such a huge like pain like there is so much things that I needed to clean out from the plastic itself. It it was pretty much like it was pretty like really just annoying to deal with. But I was still obviously able to get it done. Um, to just just so to get you guys up to speed for those who are unaware, uh, Armored Darkness is a Kaijin uh, armored they like being. That first appeared from Ultraman, from Ultraman Mibius Gaiden, Armored Darkness, and then later on would reappear in Ultra Galaxy Neo, and then the last appearance, like the full-on last official appearance, being like Ultra Zero Fight. Um, but he only appeared as more or less like an armor for Ultraman the Wild. But still, uh, he that was pretty much his last appearance he's ever made. Um, but yeah, when it comes to Armored Darkness, man, like, Armored Darkness is just really just one of those characters that I really like. And, um, yeah, as you can see right here, in this part right here, this is kind of cursed right here, having, having, uh, Armored Darkness without the armor and stuff. But, um, but yeah, overall, when it comes down to it, man, Armored Darkness is just a really badass character, so I really wanted to do this custom. I really had this custom in mind. Um, speaking of which, um... I had another friend of mine, he goes by Biogoji, he had made a similar thing, similar custom like this one actually, and uh, I used his um, custom as blueprints for this one, so it was pretty much, um, it was kind of, it was pretty much just easy to do, to deal with when it, come, when it came to like customizing this figure. So I knew a bit of what I was going to do, but at the same time I wanted to do it like certain things differently from how he did his so it was just kind of like inevitable like that so um <clears throat> so obviously in this part we're basically just cutting up the figure obviously um now as you can see right here we are cutting up the skirt now this now the skirt or armor plate armor skirt however you want to call it honestly um this one was honestly pretty scary to do. I, I honestly was kind of worried that I, w I would actually accidentally rip the uh, armor plastic. And as you can see right here, tear it off like that. I mean, that's kind of that's kind of what I usually do whenever I reach to a, a certain part of the plastic, and I feel that you know, with one tug, it'll it'll rip off. So 
that's basically what I did right there. And as you can see right here, I'm just like adding in the fine tuning, the fine um, cuts here and there. And right here we start cutting up the lakes. Now, even though, like, even though like the whole process of cutting up this figure was like a kind of pain in the ass, it still felt super satisfying to do. Like, it was so clean and it just felt satisfying to cut the figure itself and everything else like that. Now, as you can see right here in this part, I actually did this off camera because I was just, I don't know, I honestly forgot to record. But it was basically just me cutting up the hands and then right here I showed the process of how I did the spear. And, uh, you know, obviously we, did, we, we needed some toothpicks, so that's what I got there. Now this part right here, um, I'm just showing a bit of the uh, parts we've cut up throughout the entire thing. So obviously off camera, I super glued the feet onto the um, the Marvel Legends uh, the Marvel Legends uh, spare figure. <laughs> I almost forgot what it was, but yeah, we bas I basically super glued it onto there. And uh, obviously, as you can see here, I I uh, ended up cutting up the uh, the armor plates for the front part and the back part because I tried to do a technique where like you know like putting on a shirt kind of technique if you know what I'm talking about and it didn't really go too well so I ended up having to just cut up the entire thing and just placing it on there and as you can see right there I'm just like kind of testing it out to see how it's gonna look and you know obviously we have the lower abdomen the lower abs parts of armor darkness and uh so there's that and then we have the armor plates from the arms that was left over from the arms and that's what I did I simply glued them on there and uh, and obviously right here as you can see um, the figure of the Marvel Legends Despair it came with extra hands so I used that to my advantage and what I did was uh, I, I cut up the open hand fingers from the Despair figure and super glued the original hands from Armored Darkness into that peg, so now it's just like an extra uh, articulated part. Because um, you know, I, I honestly wanted my I honestly wanted to keep the the hands for Armored Darkness, like because you know not only will it be easy for it to hold the spear, but you know it's Armored Darkness's hands. So I thought, why the hell not? So, anyways, you can see right here, I'm putting in the parts, and this is the final look. Uh, it's not fully done yet, but uh, as you can see, this is just, I'm just basically testing out to see if everything flows well, and just from the looks of it, it honestly did. It honestly looked pretty good for the most part. Alright, so now it's time for the very short part of the video, which is the painting process. And there wasn't really that much to paint, honestly. Um, I, th I feel like the figure itself was already perfect the way it is, so I didn't really bother. Um, so basically what I did was just I just painted on the, the clay parts of the figure, because obviously that was going to be distracting. So I ended up just painting it with like a matte black, like nothing too special out of it, just basically black. I mean the figure, the, the Despair Marvel Legends figure is already black, like the mold of it is black already, so pretty much I'll just be, you know, doing that. And uh, as you can see right here, just painting every inch of the figure. So yeah, the whole process of this one is obviously was pretty easy to do. Um, there wasn't really that much uh, else to do. Now in this part right here, I'm just painting on the red parts of the armored skirt, and obviously, um, yeah, that was pretty much the last thing I needed to paint in regards to the armored darkness custom figure overall. And after you know letting it dry and everything else, this was the final result. <laughs>
All right, so we've reached the end of the video, and uh, at this point, I'll tell you guys my thoughts on the overall custom. Um, I think it turned out all right. I think it turned out good. Um, obviously, there are some things here that just kind of didn't really work out too well, like the neck here. I feel like the neck is a tad bit too long, like as you can see right there. I mean, unless you have, like, certain angles like that, like, maybe that would work out, but that's about it. Um, I, uh, unfortunately, just to take this off here, um, this is the only weapon I was able to make throughout the entire custom. Uh, I showed a little bit of footage of this, of how I made it, but, uh, I was just so focused on doing this that I forgot to record the process of it. But, yeah, as you can see right here, um, so, as you can see right here, this is the spear, obviously his iconic spear. And what I did was just I I uh, drew on the um, on cardboard and basically just implemented to that. So this is all cardboard and all that. But um, the only difference is that I hardened the the cardboard even harder, so that it's like more durable ish. I basically just used pounds of like layers and layers of super glue on it. And now it's just like, it's stuck there. And right here, as you can see right here, we got some, uh, I, I just used some toothpicks here to basically just um, place it into the clay. And I did it to both sides, as you can see. Um, the paint was obviously just added in. Now, of course, I do plan on dry brushing it a bit, just a bit, because, um, you know, obviously we need to, we need some dry brushing with this one. But, um, you know, other than that, I feel like this turned out pretty good. I just used a straw, a uh, just any straw, really, uh, specifically a cardboard uh, style straw. And um, so, like, I used that kind of material for the spear. And he was able to hold on to the spear quite nicely, as you can see already. Now, obviously, the fingers aren't different you know just you could he could still hold it you could see there get him some poses right there as you can see so yeah like obviously so honestly like when it comes down to it like i really do love how this custom came out so yeah besides the spear however um the figure the now articulated armored darkness you know it still has you know the standard stuff i tried to pretty much use every single aspect of the plastic try to use everything to implement it onto this and uh, as you can see right here we have obviously from what i've shown you from the customs uh obviously we have the hinge ball joint kind of articulation you could turn like that up and down and of course um you can still pop off the uh, the head if you wanted to. So this is that. Um, what you call it? Um, these these were actually something that I wanted to see if it'll work. Obviously, as you can see right there, there's a uh, little bit of a, a a scene right there. That is something that I had to sacrifice in order for this to function well. So basically what I did was I took one of the plastic parts from the waist from where it would connect from the vinyl figure and I used that to to glue it through the armor as you can see right there just zoom in as you can see right there I I basically uh super glued that part right or I cut through the armor right there and put a piece of the plastic into it and what I did was I as you can see, hopefully you can see it. You can see the plastic right there into the armor. So it's like, it's basically pressing up on it. And I super glued that part to it. And now it's like basically stuck there. And since this is obviously vinyl, like a plat like a softer plastic, you have more range of motion with this. So as you can see, it's not going to go anywhere. However, for this, like this one, I like, I did this very well. But on this one, it kind of just like, like it's it's on there, but like it's more stuck onto there. 
because um, I actually was not paying attention and I accidentally placed the plastic because the plastic, what I was trying to go for, like this one, it had more of a that kind of motion, that kind of bent. So that's how I was, it was able to, you know, do that kind of motion. But I accidentally pl placed the plastic like that, like a curve like that. So like it has that sort of like thing where like it doesn't want to like go down, you know. So um, that was uh, a bummer. But at the same time, it's not a huge, massive deal. I still like the way this turned out either way. Um, now the articulation, the extra articulation is uh, obviously very much still here. There's a lot of extra articulations you can see arms here we could still rotate all the way like that they go all the way to the back like so so a lot of more extra articulation the yard the elbows have uh double double um uh double uh i don't know how you say it double range i guess i don't know but it basically can bend like that the hands here i kept the original hands because they, because you know, they would still have the, the I could still use them to uh, basically, um, to basically hold the spear. So I kept these hands, and what I did was I was as I, as you can see right here, what I did was I basically cut up the hand and just super glued it in there, and uh, it it still turned out pretty good, and you could still remove it the hand here so that's good you can see right there it's just placed on there and it just free reigned hand right there so that's good um unfortunately i can't say the same for this one um accidentally like I, while i was super gluing this whole part of the arm here i accidentally um placed placed this uh hinge in there too early um so like it was still like wet in there. So now I can't remove it. Like it's stuck in there. But you could still move it around. So that's good. Um, obviously right there I added some of the uh, armor plates right there. And uh, you know uh, it still has its articulation. You know we could ab crunch right there. So you could like do that. It could slightly move side to side. But not too much. And obviously the, the uh, skirt here. The armored skirt has limited on its legs, but you could still have it like sort of walking. You can see, so you could you could still have some stop motion um, poses with this, and of course the feet here have some articulation here. Um, I didn't glue on the uh, armored parts. I still need to do that, but it's just I want to try to like do something else with it to try to like make it so like it's not flimsing around in there while it's like doing that but besides that though um this custom was probably my very first when it comes to certain customs like this putting an articulated figure into any vinyl figure this is my very first attempt and not gonna lie usually i don't really try to you know give myself a lot of credit but you know, at the same time, for a first, like, custom like this, I honestly felt I did pretty good. Like, it really did, turned out really well. And, of course, as you can see um, from here, it still sizes up well with some of your standard 6-inch figures. We can just, uh, there we go. All right, so as you can see right here, it still sizes up well. We got uh, the Ultra Galaxy Gomera, which, again, it still sizes up really well. And then we have the, uh, I forgot what this one is called, but it's a uh, different mold of Red King, basically. It's, um, yeah. You guys can tell me in the comments down below. I, I honestly kind of forgot what version of Red King this is. But <clears throat> besides that, uh, yeah, I do really like this custom. I really loved how I did it. And, um, you know, this video has gone has gone long enough, but <laughs> you know, this is uh this was a custom that I wanted to do for a while because you know, like cause Armored Darkness, Armored Darkness is just a really badass villain, even though like he's only appeared like a few times here and there, and he hasn't appeared again, like besides stage shows and all that. But you know, other than that though, it's like 
like Armored Darkness portrayed in Ultra and Ultraman Mebius and uh, Ultra Galaxy. You know, it's just the way he's portrayed in there is just really badass. And I, you know, I feel like I did justice for Armored Darkness. So, <clears throat> so yeah, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, that's pretty much it for the custom. Hope you guys enjoy it. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe for a video like this. Tell me what you guys think of this custom in the comments down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Sign on.